This is a 1980s road bike made by Peugeot. I am a 1980s human made by my parents. Thanks, mom and dad. With our powers combined, can we survive this insane workout my cycling coach made? 880 watts for 30 seconds, six times. Maybe you saw that video of the buff dude powering a toaster with a bike. He was doing 700 watts. And somehow, these two 80s kids are gonna have to find a way to match him, and I'm not gonna lie. We're not in the best shape we've ever been in. But that doesn't mean we're not gonna try. In fact, we're gonna try right now. So I guess we found the answer to that question. I'm gonna show you all the gory details, but first I have to finish my workout. So I'm gonna take my normal bike out for a ride. Okay, where were we? Oh, I need to tell you about the sponsor for this video. I'm not supposed to stand up. Bombas. Bombas make high quality socks, shoes, underwear, and they're really good. They're high quality, they're durable. Oh, come on legs, come on legs, get up there. They make great gifts. Look, when I was a kid, I didn't really like getting socks for, for the holidays, but now they're definitely at the top of my list. I love socks and I bet I'm not alone. I bet there's somebody on your list. I would love to get socks too. If you never ordered from Bombas, let me tell you about them. I had this whole clever bit about how like they feel warm and fuzzy and they give you the warm and fuzzies because for every item you purchase, they donate an item to somebody in need. So they literally double it and pass it on to the next person. And you get a pair. Use code Mitch20 at checkout to get 20% off your first order. Oh, look at this guy. I gotta finish my workout, but my mind is back home with that other bike. I'm trying to figure out what happened. Good news is I missed something in the workout notes. I don't have to hit 800 watts. All I have to do is ride as hard as I can for 30 seconds and repeat that six times. So. <laughs> oh, it's so hard to like stay in the right RPM. I'm gonna get it. It's my first time doing this exercise. It'll get better. Let's get home and look at the other bike and figure out what happened. So at this point, it's probably important to tell you that this is not my bike. So this bike previously belonged to my uncle. And when I went to college, he gave it to me and I've had it ever since. I've ridden it all over New York, the Brooklyn Bridge, Chicago, here in LA, Miami, Gainesville, Florida. Um, so I've had a lot of really good memories, just like just being a young person riding this bike around. And that, that cat's actually been there for like 15 years. It's kind of, uh, it's been really consistent having this bike and, um, yeah, just a lot of good memories. Once I got over the initial shock of what had happened, the first thought in my mind was about James. This is his bike. James is my brother-in-law, technically like cousin a lot, doesn't matter. It's his bike, he let me borrow it. And now I've ripped it to pieces. When I was coming up with this video idea, I honestly thought it was kind of like clickbaity. In my wildest dreams, I did not think it would fail this catastrophically. Like, I'm still shocked. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do for the video. On the surface, it seems like, well, that answers a question. The answer is no, it cannot survive. <laughs> the answer is no. But I'm still skeptical about that. I texted James right away. I sent him some pictures and some warning. Luckily, this is not a, um, like a pristine vintage bike. It has a lot of sentimental value, but well, I'll, I'll let James describe the bike. Over the years, things have broken, and because it's an old bike, I can't get the old part. All the stuff is from different bikes. Nothing is original. Yeah, it's a real Franken bike. And um, yeah, I, I'm curious to see how it runs. So that brings me back to the question, does this represent all retro bikes? Would any retro bike fail under these circumstances? Or is there something up with this specific retro bike that caused that chain ring to fail? There was a rattling noise 
that I noticed on my ride to the park. There's a lot of noises that this bike makes and I don't know where they're coming from. There's a general rattling. Everything feels a little bit loose. You know, it's old. It just feels different, that's all. I am worried. I don't know if it's gonna make it. And in fact, when I switched over to my modern bike, the first thing I noticed was the difference in how smooth the two rides felt. Now, I wasn't gonna make a retro bike versus modern bike comparison video, but now that I'm riding them back to back, I can't help but compare them. And compared to the retro bike, this thing feels like a spaceship, where the retro bike would kind of jiggle around and make some noise. This thing's silent. All I hear is like the soft buzz of the drivetrain and the thunderous roar of the freeway next to me. So that could influence it. Now this retro bike is a still bike. Like what's the saying? Steel is real or whatever. Steel is known for being smooth. And so something's up. And that's when I decided to dig through the old footage. And I noticed something when I looked in the immediate aftermath of the incident. Maybe you can recognize it. Take a look at the chain ring. Do you notice anything weird? Specifically by the crank. Before the ride, I put the retro bike up on my wall to get some like B-roll and a bunch of like nice fancy shots of it. I went back to that B-roll and sure enough, there are three bolts missing. This is not James' fault. This bike has been in storage for months, for like a long time. He had, he just had a baby, he's got other things going on. We pulled this bike out of garage storage for me to use. You can see in the footage like there's cobwebs and all that stuff. I made the mistake of not inspecting the bike before taking it on the ride, which is now a lesson I will never forget because I got really lucky <laughs> that it didn't end up worse than this. Oh! Can a retro bike survive a modern workout? Looks like we're gonna have to get some new chain rings and go for round two. And in the meantime, check out this video about my modern bike. Remember to use code MITCH20 at checkout to save 20% off your first order at bombas.com. That was pretty catastrophic.